Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's your girl Brit Reacts, and today we are reacting to Kurt Metzing Metzger lightens the mood with dark humor. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, thank you very much. How are, how are you? Let me tell you about me a little bit. I live in New York, as Bill said, in a place called Washington Heights. Okay. which is mostly Dominican people. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm the first white guy in my building, the first one. And let me just say, how lucky for them. <laughs> and what? thank God, thank God for me. You know when I moved in, the hot water didn't work on weekends? Every weekend, on weekends? no hot water. Until I made some white phone calls to the city for that entire building. Yeah, you're welcome, building. <laughs> building? I don't consider myself a hero. I just did what any white person would do in that situation. I called 311. That's the number to rat your landlord out in New No, York. there's a number to like call and... <gasps> I never knew. Um, Washington Heights is... is tip I mean, it's where... Um, What's the movie? Of course, I'm not going to be able to think of it. Because anytime I need to think of something, it doesn't think. It doesn't think. My brain doesn't think. Um, oh, I'm so annoyed with myself. There, It's like a version of um, In the Heights. Thank you. Wow. In the Heights, which is a version, I think, it's like a version of West Side Story, kind of. But it's set in Washington Heights. And it is typically a... Uh, Hispanic Latino community um, and what I think about that is like people just don't bother right like they got way other more issues in life as long as they can cook and have a roof over their heads they're not gonna bother you know what I mean a lot of times I'm not always but I do think in communities like that you find people just like decide to rally around other things and I love that he's like as the white guy I took the privilege and I called I didn't even know 311 was a thing and I'm from New York I did not even know 311 was a thing that's hilarious are there numbers like that in every state that you can call and like rat out like civil issues <gasps> who knew and you can be anonymous if you're afraid of the landlord do you wish to remain anonymous sir no, I do not. <laughs> I wish to leave my entire white name right now, please. Entire white name. Kurt Tiberius Metzger. Tiberius? <laughs> His middle name is not Tiberius. <laughs> Tiberius sounds like he should be living in Harlem. Tiberius? <laughs> I love his name now. I love his Kurt. Tiberius Metzger. I love it. Do you guys uh, enjoy this show I like called My Strange Addiction? Does anybody watch love it? That? It's uh, love a it. reality show. It's just what it says, strange addictions. So this one girl, Keisha, <laughs> uh, chews dirty diapers. That's her. Yeah, yeah. It delivers what it promises. <laughs> they're, not a lot, they're not messing around. And she folds them into like a hot pocket and then you're... Oh my gosh. I do love any of those TLC shows. My Strange Addiction, Hoarders. What's the intervention? And my all time favorite, the supreme king and queen of television, My 600 Pound Life. Any of those docuseries that documents people's lives. I just lives. I just lo love to learn about other people's lives that are different from mine. Be it good, bad, or indifferent. Like to see people and then. You know, most times on those shows, hopefully they overcome it. But I, I am fascinated by those shows. But the dirty diaper thing, absolutely no. Immediately no. And she folds them into like a hot pocket. And you're it's really good. Well, she's addicted, okay? She can't help it. <laughs> it's an illness. Don't even try diapers one time. That's my advice. Don't even experiment with dirty diapers. diapers. So her family tries to have an intervention for her. How would you do that? How do you even find yourself taste testing a dirty diaper? You know, 
I'm going to let, let you guys in on a little secret. When I was younger, I used to eat toilet tissue. Not dirty toilet tissue. I, I just liked the way it like dissolved. It was weird. But I was also a child. Um, but to think about what it was like the first time and what was in her, what was the thought process to try a soiled diaper? It's got to be a texture thing because it certainly can't be a smell or a taste. Jeez Louise, the human brain and body is a fascinating thing. So her family tries to have an intervention for her. I'm How disgusted. would you do that? <laughs> Intervene for a diaper or chewer. I would bring better drugs to the intervention. That's how I would have. Like, Keisha, this is called cocaine. It's like diapers, but it's cheaper for one thing. <laughs> right. That's yeah. a fact. And then it didn't work. At the end, they go, Keisha still struggles with diaper addiction. Oh, does she? That's so offensive to me as a drug addict that you lump her made up problems with my real problems. Here's a legal drug I have a problem with, cigarettes. I just stopped smoking cigarettes. Did anybody ever do that? You know how hard that is? Yeah, yeah. I still smoke cigarettes, it's that hard. I didn't even try, really, because the withdrawals suck for that. Uh, withdrawals for cigarettes? Could, do you really have withdrawals when you stop smoking cigarettes? I don't know if that was a bit or if that's true. I don't know. I did when I first moved back to New York in my 20s have a bout with cigarettes it, but it was a social thing it was like a look cool thing with my husband he was not my husband then but he came to visit me in new york when we were like kind of i don't know we were up and down and he found out that i was smoking cigarettes it's still to this day if i bring it up the grimace on his face like the absolute disgust and disappointment is enough for me never to look at a box of cigarettes again <laughs> It breaks my heart when people, and I see that people like smoke and they like chain smoke. Cause it's just like, I mean, it is, it truly is like any other addiction. It's like what you're doing to your body. But I guess because that one is not so taboo and you can like kind of still do it in public these days. It's just like, don't do that to yourself. No. That hard. I didn't even try really. I didn't even try. Because the withdrawals suck for that. What does diaper withdrawal feel like? <laughs> Amazing. I can't even fathom. This other girl, she's kind of big. She's a fat girl and she eats mattresses. That's. Oh, I've seen that one. Yeah, I've seen that one. Insides. She looks at the camera and she goes, after I have sex, that's when I like to eat some mattress. <laughs> so. I don't remember that, but I do that. remember that episode. You have sex with a fat girl and then she eats the mattress. <laughs> Who are you going to tell that to? Who's going to believe you? That that even happened. No one. He's 100% right. No one is going to believe you. They're going to laugh because they're going to think you're making a mean joke. And you're going to be like, no, she literally rolls over and starts to eat the inside. It was the inside of the mattress. I remember that episode. I told y'all, I watched these shows. That that even happened. No one. This part is not a... This part's not a joke, and I, if you have this in your family, I have a lot of suicide in my family, okay? Oh, wow. So, you know, on the news, you see these kids just take their lives all the time now. That's the saddest thing in the world, man, you know? This girl in Florida, 15 years old, just took her life. And it, it's just so young to feel like you gotta end it. I, that just really depresses me. And that's not a joke, I'm just saying that. This part is a joke. <laughs> this Does part. anybody care enough about these kids? to tell them about heroin. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, not, not if you're a happy kid. Don't mess it up with heroin, obviously. But if you're gonna kill yourself, okay? 15 years old, you're gonna right to death, the end. You're gonna go right to that. And you're not even gonna try heroin one time <laughs> just to see. No, just some steps Kurt, down, like, it's terrible. Terrible advice. This is dark humor. This is dark humor at its finest right here. It is. It is. He's hitting the nail on the head. You're just giving some steps, man. Like, just give it a shot, okay? Either you'll die or you'll have a wonderful time on heroin. You'll probably want to live longer so you could do more heroin. That's how strong heroin is. 
I wish I could go to schools and talk to kids <laughs> and say, hey, No! It gets better, guys. No! <laughs> I'm out of time. Thank you so much. Dark humor. King of dark humor right there. Oh, my gosh. That was hard. That was hard to get through. Jeez Louise. Oh, my gosh. All right, y'all. Go have the day you deserve.